Frank Nobuo Hurosawa was born 1915 in Seattle, Washington, to a Japanese immigrant family. His parents, Kataro Hirosawa and Natsu Murakami, hailed from Yamaguchi in southwestern Japan. Kataru was a farmer who had come over in 1903, followed by his wife a few years later, and the couple had several children, the youngest of whom was Frank. At age 21, Frank went to Japan for a few years to attend university, and when he returned, began pursuing a career as a rubber chemist. By age 27, he had moved to Southern California and married a woman named Sachiko Shimbo. But just a couple of months after the marriage in 1942, their life took an unexpected and unpleasant turn. You see, it was World War II, and after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the United States government was officially at war with Japan. President Franklin D. Roosevelt had signed Executive Order 9066, authorizing the forced removal of people deemed national security threats into concentration camps. More than 125,000 people of Japanese descent, most of them American citizens, were kicked out of their homes and forced to relocate to these camps. Frank was one of these people. He was sent to Manzanar, a concentration camp located in the foothills of the California Sierra Nevada mountains. Manzanar was the first of 10 camps established during the war, and it brought dusty and uncomfortable living quarters to its residents. Facilities such as toilets had no privacy, the food was bad, and the camp was surrounded by barbed wire and machine gun equipped guards. However, unlike the Nazi concentration camps in Europe, there were facilities such as schools, shops, and even local newspapers at these concentration camps. Here is an example of the ironically titled Manzanar Free Press, a local newspaper in the Manzanar camp. Likely, one of the saving graces for Frank was that his knowledge of chemistry proved to be very useful for the American military, who were in short supply of rubber during World War II. Multiple incarcerated scientists, including him, were recruited to help develop techniques to speed up the growth of rubber plants. Thanks to a series of incredible photographs taken at Manzanar by Ansel Adams, there is high-resolution documentation of Hirosawa at Manzanar, including several photos which show him at work in the laboratory. Due to wartime necessity, he had been allowed to continue his line of work, that of a chemist. Frank and Sachiko had two children while still at Manzanar, Julia and Ronald. And a couple of years later, in 1945, the war finally ended, and the family was allowed to depart the internment. They returned to Los Angeles County and resumed their lives. Despite having been interrupted by a major removal of his human rights, Frank continued to have a successful career as a chemist, taking part in several patented creations in the plastic industry. And in 1987, at the age of 71, Frank Nobuo Hirosawa died. His obituary is brief and mentions nothing of his stint at Manzanar during World War II. But for him and thousands of other Japanese Americans, he had endured one of the most blatant and racist overreaches of power in modern U.S. history. For many Japanese Americans, the specter of forced internment at the concentration camps looms large over their psyche. And it's very important that we never forget what happened to an entire group of people targeted based on their race.